Hello, hello, Michael McNamara here, uh, putting together another short little screencast, this time around uh, Avaya's Enterprise Device Manager, specifically the idle timeout <laughs> in EDM. So if you're an Avaya user, you've probably undoubtedly pulled your hair out on probably more than one occasion when you've come back to the switch to do something and you find that you get a prompt that says, uh, response not authorized, I believe is the actual verbiage and basically your session is timed out because you were idle too long. So I posted in the network infrastructure forums a while back asking if anyone had any thoughts or ideas and actually one of the users or community members came back with a really neat little suggestion of basically how to work around this. Um, so essentially you'll go down into uh, chassis, you'll click on chassis and that'll launch the graph chassis tab and then essentially you just set the poll interval here to one minute and then you just leave this tab open and let it run in the background and essentially what happens is every minute the GUI here will, will tickle the switch or pull the switch for the statistics that we see in front of us and essentially it generates enough traffic that it resets the idle timeout so that essentially you're never going to idle, you're never going to time out <laughs> so uh, you, know, you can go off uh, look at other things and come back and you, you won't be disconnected so I thought that was a neat little workaround and I thought that was pretty short and sweet that we could drop that into a short little screencast uh, for everybody. So hopefully that's helpful for anyone using Avaya's EDM. Um, obviously, as some of the threads in the uh, form mentioned, if you're a Radius user, you actually have control over that timeout value. Whereas if you're a local user, you really don't have control of the value of the actual timeout. Um, and then you can actually work around this too if you're a uh, COM user, right? a configuration or orchestration manager. Um, you, know, you don't have that problem either. So hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, go ahead and leave any comments, questions, or suggestions in the thread below. Cheers!